They have three of the top perimeter players in the country. Uh, they've got a lot of depth at every position. Uh, looking for the uh, Red Wolves tonight to play great man defense and uh, hoping that their uh, inside people can do a good job against their post people. So we'll see what happens, Brad. Opening tip knocked out of bounds and will belong to Oklahoma. Coming in at 4-1 and one on the year. A-State has evened its record at 2-2 two and two with a couple of home wins. Entry pass inside. Shot wouldn't go. There's Liz Scott on the rebound. She's a great offensive rebounder. Maddie Williams with the miss. I believe she was on the back. So now Oklahoma all of a sudden with its third shot in this possession, perhaps. And really it all started with A-State sort of mistiming its jump on the uh, initial shot. Yeah, Anna Griffith had a, had, a, had the B on that one, but uh, jumped a little too soon. And after all that, nearly turning it over with one on the shot clock, Oklahoma gets the game's first basket. Kia Patton couldn't get the three. Nevaeh Tott with the board for Oklahoma. Here comes OU into the front court and trailing the play. And look out. The always dangerous Taylor Robertson got a shot and it didn't go in. We'll have plenty to say about Robertson as we go along. Higginbottom gets A-State on the board. Good for Izzy. She just popped one in, and, and Arkansas State certainly needed that one. Turnaround jumper is they're also on pace to finish 1-2 all-time in Oklahoma history in minutes played. Here's a steal and a lob ahead for Tot. She chases it down, slips through defenders, and scores. Among the substitutions, as you see, Jenny Baranchik in her second season. Three-pointer in the corner, Robert, here in the Big 12. A-State with the turnover. Here's Higginbottom, one-on-one with Tot. Got it back and scored. There we go. And then Kia Patton, the first-team pick. Patton missed the first two games of the season. Pendleton missed the last two. They're finally out on the floor together in game number five. Here's Kiera Ellis. Muscle it up and in with a foul. Trying to make it a one-possession game here. Higginbottom, deep three on the way, just a little short, raised the iron, and the rebound collected by the Sooners. Quick outlet for Tot. She'll pull up and knock it down, long two. You know, I think they say that Nevaeh Tot is 5'3", but she looks more like five foot nothing to me. She's one of those water bugs that we call those guards that are small. Oklahoma threw it over the defense into the front court. And there's Ellis again affecting things, getting a hand on the ball up top. Number two in the ball game here is Rena Scott, a freshman. There's Culleton. Patton will take the three. Just off the mark, Kiera Ellis, an offensive rebound, has it blocked. And then coming out of the pile with the basketball is Maddie Williams. She'll bring it ahead herself, throw it over the top to Cullenton. Impossible angle yeah. on the catch and pick. Players with a ton of experience and then some highly talented newcomers. For this OU team, which hosted the first two rounds of the NCAA tournament last season. And They've got a combination of their upper and lower class kids out there on the floor right now. We got a two-on-one right here, possibly. Could have been some contact there, but Ellis with the finish. Here's Wilkerson into the paint. She's stripped on the way up, and here come the Sooners on the run. Good hands, good find. Wilkerson out in front of the OU bench. Three wouldn't go. Kapinga all alone for the rebound, and she got the stick back. OU came in off a win in Fort Worth on Sunday against UTA. The team actually won the Sunbelt Conference Tournament a year ago. Left corner, Malin Wilkerson, three-pointer go. good. They stayed in the front court again, just down by three. Drop it into Kapinga. She turns into the paint. What nice a shot. shot there. One for six now from the floor. Patton for the lead, no. And the rebound pulled down by Nevaeh Tot. There's another one you don't want to leave open right there. Pendleton lazy pass knocked away by Yanusa. She's out ahead of the pack with the layup. And just like that. And again, A-State within two as we hit the four-minute mark here in the first half. 
I really enjoy watching them play this 1-2-2 uh, zone. They're, they're very active in it. They do a good job of using their arms. Nevaeh Tott made the Red Wolves pay there. She hits the three, which is the fourth of the game. OU four out of 17 from deep. Kapinga spares Arkansas State a turnover. Now she catches it on the left block, dribbles in, and scores oh, off yeah. the glass. Confidence is she playing with on the offensive end right wow. now. Kapinga with seven points on three or four shootings, also already pulled down six rebounds. And, yeah, you need to guard Taylor Robinson out there, even on the T in A-State. Right down the paint with the. You know, I guess uh, Oklahoma defensively is respecting Arkansas State's running game because you really don't see them crashing the boards hard like you would think they would. And then meanwhile, you know, Arkansas State's mindful to just not get in the track meet here with the Sooners because you saw Destiny Rogers as Griffin scores. The big, the big story is uh, you got uh, both teams have 16 points in the paint. So in the paint, so. Arkansas State matching OU on that inside game. Just over a minute to go before half. Turn and face in the basket. He did, except for Kennedy Tucker. She gets the steal. And how in the world that pass found Raina Scott, I won't know. But so still just one shot for Arkansas State. Of course, OU just 0 for 2, but Sooners have gotten to the free throw line. That time turning on the block to slow things down. So then we're going with the fake contact. That's Not right. this time, but somebody needs to have that in their pocket. I mean, don't you have to prove? Don't you have to have the license <laughs> or something? Uh, I'm gonna, uh, so we'll see which, which coach can be the first one to pull that out <laughs> in, a, in a tough spot. Here's a three-pointer by Kia Patton up yes, a good. Nate State needed that. Wilkerson's hit one, and Patton now one for four after her connection there. Yeah, there has some bows from the three-point line for sure. Kapinga knocked that away as they had a path, and what Arkansas State didn't learn. A-State's going to be without one of its post players here for a pretty good stretch. Meanwhile, the lead back to 10 after the three-point play by Williams. Griffin gets the roll. Kind of that extra spin. All of a sudden, she got back to the basket and realized she had an open look. She had good composure, held herself together, didn't panic. Yeah. Yep, for her, she got to the soft spot and hit the free throw line jumper. She's hit some milestones, and she's working on some other milestones this season. Here, that was a little step back on them. A-State in the front court, trailing by eight. Pendleton got a defender in the air and scores oh, yeah. off the glass. Or even though A-State's a team that wants to run, Pendleton to the bucket, too strong. Kiera Ellis shovels it back to Pendleton, and this time it goes. And again, A-State within four. Culleton, no, got oh. her own miss and stuck it up and in high. Abda Wilkerson. Shot clock at 10. Nice shot fake. Patton to beat the shot clock yeah. to go as she's not her. Points Oklahoma's way. Oh, nice what a job. touch pass. Yeah. The Culleton who's had a big third quarter. Yeah. The senior to the freshman. And she's a savvy player. The lead back to seven. Here's Higginbottom, deep three, ring it up. Yeah. They're going to go with Johnson and Culleton on the floor together. A lot of length and size. And they threw it from. The Red Wolves now all of a sudden again find themselves down nine. Lead's been as large as ten. Gets that you got it. Now they're in the zone. They've got to use shot fake, pass fake. 
Anna Griffin, Sunbelt's leading rebounder, shows she can step out and hit a three. She's and making up for those walks down on the perimeter. <laughs> Again within six. Much needed basket for Arkansas State. Now they need a stop. And they don't get it as down low on the play in the opening minute of the fourth quarter. Griffin's already hit one three. That one's off the mark. Rebound was knocked away from Wilkerson, and here comes OU. Maddie Williams knocks down the three. And kick out for Patton, her three, no. And eventually rebound corralled by Beatrice Culleton. Bucket on the other. Giving Anna Griffin one more blow before they put it, put her back out there. There's a three-pointer knocked down. I think uh, Coach Rogers is saying, hey, you may turn it over, but you got to hustle back to uh, Kia Pat. She's frustrated with that turnover. Here's a state off a turnover. Pendleton off the glass. They average 12 and a half points and over five rebounds without starting two ball games last year. Right. She gets a rebound there in the reverse across the baseline. Maylin Wilkerson, three, no. Kapinga, the offensive rebound. She leans in. It wouldn't go down. And eventually corralled along the baseline by Raina Scott, another freshman for OU. Going on the run into the fourth quarter. It's not going to hurt the Redwoods just to work the ball a little bit and get a quality shot. Not a turnover, but a quality shot. Instead, that is the 18th turnover, and then the Sooners make them pay on the other end. This is going to be the first time Arkansas State never had a double-digit lead. They, right. At one point in every other game this year, is there's an and one for Pendleton. Coach Sooners came in averaging 20 and a half assists, tops in the Big 12, seventh in the country, and they're at that number here with five minutes to go. Yeah, that's that's what makes a difference. Distributing it to the team, teammates that can score, taking care of the ball. I mean, There's the another assist one there. is a big story. Yeah, another assist there. They got 22 assists on the night. Sharing is carrying down here with that big lead coming down the stretch. Getting her. Clean up the miss by Liz Scott. Here's Kapinga. Got a defender in the air and scored with a foul. In fact, they've all scored at least three points. Well, that's the deal because they've played a lot of players. They're so deep, you know. When you when you have that many players and you've got everybody contributing. They've gone just seven deep here tonight. Yeah, with seven deep, you're just bare bones on what you can do and how much energy you can have against this, against high octane offense. And there's Taylor Robertson getting one to go. Distributions from across the board from all of their kids. Under three minutes to go here. She's going to get another look at it, and look out. She's hit a couple in a row. Back-to-back three-pointers. Patton drove in, kicked it to Pendleton. No, and the rebound out to the waiting arms of Ana Yanusa, who went over 350 career rebounds tonight. And now there's little to no... You know, holding off runs and then making runs yourself. Well, they had... I mean, quite honestly, Arkansas State, as you get an and one... I think that uh, Arkansas State playing seven people have, are definitely, you know, out of gas right now. Absolutely are, and they... They don't have a field goal in over two and a half minutes. OU's hit its last six shots. And they've taken, you know, what was a close game all night long, and it is not one anymore. No. Players, but then all of a sudden you get to nine or ten players. That makes a huge difference. Yeah, that's what Arkansas State will need to have happen is Higginbottom. Last year, Oklahoma won a shootout, 101-89 in Norman. This year, more of a slugfest until the fourth quarter, and then the track meet they commenced. Danced. But that. The Red Wolves did play excellent for, for three quarters. They just did not take advantage of that lull in the game when Oklahoma really wasn't shooting well. And OU takes the turnover. And Arkansas State, we'll see if we'll just, uh, they'll return the favor by just dribbling out the clock. Well, not the way it looks. Higginbottom's going to fire a three, and she hits. 
Oklahoma in the fourth quarter went 14 of 19 from the field, four of six from deep. So they had four three-pointers in the first three quarters. They were four for 24. They go four of six coming down the stretch to turn this one into a one-sided And you look at Izzy's three-pointer just then. I mean, hey, why lose by 30 if you could lose by 25? You know, it all makes a difference, and that scores. Puts about 70. I'm going to have to take my hat off to the Arkansas State University Red Wolves. The ladies played their hearts.